welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying out Rouge Dior Forever Liquid Transfer Proof Lipsticks. They came with 11 different shades. They're running for $38 each. In case you didn't know, they're supposed to be ultra pigmented, really lightweight, the formula with a matte finish, smudge proof, feather proof, transfer proof girl it's supposed to last a long time on our lips and today we're gonna to be testing them out we're gonna see how pigmented are they is it actually worth it by the way they are tiny so I'm really surprised for the $38 let me just tell you <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always please don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always let's dive on in and try these out starting off with our first lip shade this one is called forever Paris and this is number four five eight described on their website as a bright rosewood lip shade and let me tell you it's definitely a bright rose type of lip color it has like a pink undertone I find it to be a little bright but at the same time it has like a neutral undertone to it that I actually kind of like and by the way when you swatch this on or apply this on I noticed that it's a little watery in the consistency and it does take a, like a good minute for it to dry down and turn into like a matte finish so I want to share that with you just in case you purchase this and you're kind of like Where's the madness to this liquid lipstick? Uh, so for the doe foot applicator, it has a really nice doe foot applicator. It's spongy, it picks up enough product. I personally really like that it has a fine point to it that you can use to line your lips. As for a scent, it doesn't have a scent to be really honest. I was surprised because I thought it was gonna have like a pungent scent, you know? And when I think of like these Lux brands, I feel like it's gonna smell like like money, you know, like very luxurious type of scent, something exotic, I don't know, something fancy. Um, as for the packaging, I honestly am not a huge fan of the packaging. I thought this was gonna be a lot bigger for the $38 that we're purchasing. This kind of is like a mini to me, and it doesn't feel luxe. It doesn't look luxe in my opinion. I think it's the silver rim around it. It kind of looks kind of looks a little cheap, something that you can probably find at the Swap Meet or 99 cent store. It's just not selling me the Dior vibes that I thought I was getting. <laughs> so that is the only thing. So you guys, let's go and try on Forever Paris. shade number two this one is called forever nude number 100 described on their website as a nude pink lip shade and to be honest I absolutely love this lip color I can't wait to try it on it is so pretty you can never go wrong with a nude lip because it goes with anything that you're wearing or any eye look it's just it has like also a neutral undertone that I feel like will complement many skin complexions and I personally love it I feel like everyone should have a nude lip in their collection that as their go-to you know what I mean so are you guys let's go and try on forever nude three this one is called forever unique a deep brown and I absolutely love a deep brown you guys already know here on my channel this past fall winter season I was obsessed <laughs> and I kept wearing a dull dark bold lip shades and this one's really really pretty I personally really love it it has like kind of like a pecan undertone to it um, but also it has kind of like I don't know like something different about it like a brick kind of undertone to this lip color i feel like this is perfect for the fall winter seasons giving me like pumpkin spice vibes by looking at it in the viewfinder but i personally really love it this is a little bold but at the same time has like a neutral undertone and same thing you guys when you apply this on it does kind of layer on sheer um this is something that i feel like you're gonna have to like give it time like apply it on give it time and then to dry down and then apply it on over just to kind of layer on the pigmentation because so far it's looking pretty sheer by swatching the back of my hand. Obviously we will see once we apply it on our lips. So let's go and try on a Forever Unique. Final 
lip shade. This one is called Forever Grace. This is described as a deep rosewood lip shade. This is number 558. And to be really honest, it's definitely a really deep, bold rose lip color. I personally really like it. To be honest, when I swatched this lip shade on the back of my hand, it felt really moussey, a lot thicker in the consistency. I'm not really sure if it's the Doe for Applicator that's picking up more product or if it's the formula of this lip shade. I'm not really sure, but I personally really like it. It's really, really pretty alternative than wearing a red bull lip or a you know, vampy, you know, chocolate brown lip. So I personally really like it. It has a really nice undertone. You can definitely dress it up with a chocolate brown lip liner to make it look a little bit more dramatic, or you can kind of tone it down with a taupey lip liner or even a rose type of lip liner to complement this liquid lipstick. Obviously, you don't need a lip liner because it does have a fine point to the applicator that you can use as a lip liner, but I just wanted to suggest it just in case you were interested. So you guys, let's go ahead and try on Forever Grace. I've tried on all four liquid lipsticks now let's go ahead and talk about it. I want to start off with the price point and the packaging because to be really honest, I find $38 to be pretty high, especially if the packaging for Dior doesn't, it doesn't feel luxe in my opinion. I find it to look kind of cheap, really simple. I, I just don't feel like it's justifying the price point, especially the formula. To be really honest, you guys, I'm not really wowed by the formula like I thought it would be. Um, the formula seems kind of inconsistent depending on the lip shade. I, some of them were a little bit more moussey and creamy and more pigmented than others. Others were gliding on really sheer, the, almost watery, and the one that was giving me the most issues was lip shade number 100. I can't read the name um, because it's in such small print. I'll have it listed down below. Um, but shade number 100, I, it was just gliding on really sheer. I even tried shaking them thinking, well, maybe it's been sitting there for a while. Maybe I need to shake it to thicken it up somehow. And it just wasn't working. So that is the only thing. It does take a long time to dry. I'm not a fan of that. I'm a really impatient person, unfortunately, that I pulled out my little fan and found myself drying my lips because it was just taking a really long time. And I personally did not like that. My lips still feel sticky on and I don't like that. It feels really uncomfortable. I'm ready to take this off. And to be honest, it, it shouldn't take this long to dry. <laughs> I've been sitting here for about 15 minutes. It shouldn't take this long to dry. Um, but as for the Doe for Applicator, I personally love that it has, it's nice and spongy. It has a fine point tip to it. I love that it does not have a scent to it. I don't feel like every product needs to have a scent. And it, to be really honest, I think I found a dupe for these Dior Rouge lip colors, especially for lip shade 100. When I applied these on, especially this lip color, lip shade number 100. <laughs> um, it reminded me so much of L'Oreal's, I'm gonna read it off my phone because I keep forgetting, and it is a L'Oreal Rouge Signature Lightweight Matte Lip Stain. It runs for $11.99. I think they came out with 11 different shades, and they're still available. I just checked online right now before I started filming, and this is the lip shade Create. I feel like they're perfect dupes for one another. Here it is, I swatched them on the back of my hand and they look identical, you guys. They look identical. The one that is more pigmented is a L'Oreal. <laughs> L'Oreal and they just look so similar. I don't feel like the formula is anything different than what has kind of already been created. I don't know from the price point to the packaging to the formula it just didn't wow me as much as I thought and I feel like these lip shades that they came out with are lip shades that you can find in any other collection. You could probably find a dupe for every single one of these through the L'Oreal Rouge collection that I just mentioned to you guys. You should probably not identical but close to and save yourself $20. So I don't know how I feel about you guys. If this is something maybe you wanna try out if you wanna treat yourself 
or if it's on sale or someone give you a gift card and you're like, oh, I have nothing to lose, why not? But to be really honest, I was just expecting a little bit more out of these lip colors. So you guys, I forgot to mention, this is also transfer proof. Let me show you, even though my lips feel sticky, let me show you. <laughs> That is basically it. So it does not transfer um, over, which I personally like, but it does feel sticky on the lips. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions whatsoever, comment down below, ask away. I'm always here to help. If you have any video suggestions, also comment down below. Let me know, I'm always looking for video ideas. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Everything, of course, will be linked down below in case you guys are interested, and I will see you guys all in my next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye! Expensive, and I can already tell. I don't know what I can tell. Let's start over. They came with 11 in different shades for this. Within, 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 within. <laughs> oh, girl. Oh, my God. Hi, proof, transfer proof, foot, 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 fo